Uh, typically, I would just write about this on the website, but uh, it's easier for me just to talk about it. Um, we went to Foxtail on the Lake last night in Des Plaines, which has gotten great reviews. My wife has been there three or four times and loved it every single time, had no issues. The food was amazing, the service was good, everything. So we were going to Nate Bargatze last night um, in Rosemont. So we went to Foxtail on the Lake before the show for dinner. And the show started at seven. Um, Nate wasn't going on until eight. Uh, but there were a few openers or whatever, so we figured a 5 o'clock dinner would probably be okay. I mean, we weren't going to mess around and, you know, hang out and, you know, chit-chat and whatever. We were just going to go eat, have a drink, and then go to the show. So we got there at 5. There were 10 of us. Um, so they sat us in the back, and the table was great. You know, everything was great. The restaurant was good. Server came over and took our drink order at probably a little after 5, 5.05 or something. It took about 30 minutes for us to get our drinks. Um, they were all specialty cocktails and stuff, so I, I kind of get it. Making 10 drinks for one table is a lot, especially when the restaurant was packed. Um, so we'll give them the benefit of the doubt on that. But we realized, you know, we were cutting it kind of close then with our food and, and all that to get over to the show. So we mentioned to the server, we're like, hey, you know, we're trying to get to the show at Allstate at 7. Um, we're just going to put in appetizers and all our entrees right now. Just bring it all out and, you know, we, we should be good. Um, and he was like, yeah, no problem. So we put in our order of appetizers and I posted this on uh, the channel or the, uh, the st my story last night. So... We got like crab legs and some like shawarma rolls or something and they were fine but with 10 of us that you know it wasn't a ton of food so those came out probably at about six and then at like 6 30 we still hadn't gotten entrees or anything so we asked the server like you know what's what's going on and whatever and then we ordered one more round of drinks and Actually, it might have been 6.15. And uh, so we got our round of drinks probably around 6.30. And we're like, all right, well, the food's not here. We literally, we have to leave at like 6.45. And so they brought the drinks. And then at 6.45, they came over and they told us that they had no clue where our food was. They lost all the entrees and nothing was made. Nothing was coming out. And that was it. And they're like, oh, we took the entrees off of the bill and I'm like all right cool um that you know that's great that we didn't get them so we should get you know the entrees off the bill um but yeah it was it was super weird and super annoying because you know we wanted all this food everybody ordered their own entree a lot of times we'll go and we'll just you know order a bunch of stuff for the table and things like that but this time everybody ordered entrees so we were you know we had a big order. We were spending a bunch of money. Um, but yeah, they just lost everything or never made it or something. What I think happened is that since we put our appetizers and entrees together, like we ordered them all at the same time, um, they made the appetizers and then closed out the ticket. That's what I'm assuming. I've never worked at a restaurant. Like I, I don't like food. I don't you know, the, the, clearly based on the, uh, the content on this page. Um, I'm assuming that's what happened, but I've just, I've never had that happen like at all at a restaurant. So we, we left at probably about 645, 650 after paying the bill. They actually took off all the appetizers also, which was nice. We just paid for our drinks. Um, but it was still, weird just just really really weird and disappointing honestly because we were all looking forward to dinner there we were starving at the show we ended up having to you know wait in line to get if you've ever been to the all-state arena outside of chicago it's a nightmare to get into and out of and 
whatever. So we had to sit in this long line to get into the parking lot. We missed the first one and a half openers. Um, thankfully, we didn't miss any of Nate, but yeah, it was it was just super weird. And then we were all hungry during the show, but since we got there a little late, nobody could get any food to bring to our seats. So we ended up going to Omega at like 10 o'clock at night uh, just to have something to eat. Um, but yeah, I, I, it's just so weird because Foxtail on the Lake has got this such such a great reputation lately that for them to mess up something this badly for a group that big that was willing to spend a bunch of money, it's just weird. And I get it, they were crowded. Um, last night it was a beautiful night outside, so everybody was sitting outside on the patio and the whole dining room was full. And there were tons of people waiting outside when we left. Um, so I, I get it, and it doesn't sound like this happens a lot. They don't have a reputation for this, so I'm not going to knock them, and we'll be, we'll definitely go back so we can actually try it, but we'll go back when we don't have somewhere to be and we're not on a time schedule. Um, but I just, it was just so weird and out of character for what I've heard about them and, and all of that. So that's why there were no pictures of food after the crab legs on my stories last night because we didn't get any more food so that's what i've got to say about foxtail on the lake hopefully our next experience there is a lot better um which i'm assuming it will be i'm guessing this is just you know a weird comedy of errors thing that happened and it's not you know a testament to their normal service or their food or anything like that but i'm looking forward to going back and hopefully uh, we could try some food next time and I can share what I ate and didn't ate with didn't ate didn't eat with you guys next time. All right.